baby what's going on guys bodybuilding cut day number 21 three weeks in and yeah i weighed myself this morning at a 163.1 yesterday i was 164 it's like it all depends just on the manure almost built up inside the body oh uh, because it's such a big uh i don't know the english word like it's a big um Oh, I don't know. I can't English. <laughs> um, but um, yeah, on my way to the gym to train some back and biceps. It's very hot today. Very hot day in Iceland compared to our uh, summers. It's, it's according to my car's thermometer, 18 degrees Celsius, and that's a good amount of heat. And also the lupines, lupines, lupines. That's an Icelandic lupiner. It's a special sort of flower or something that grows here, purple, and it's covering everything here. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, my nutrition coach lowered my uh, lowered my caloric needs uh, down a bit into 4,500. I was doing 4,750 something, so I lowered it down by 250 calories. This is cool, so we'll see the weight keep climbing down and hopefully the, as well as the circumference around my waist. Yeah, so that's exciting. Saturday, it's a good day. The first thing I need to do before I go to the gym, I need to go to my workplace where I work and fetch my uh, gym clothes. Because um, I'm right now wearing like the only shorts that I had left that weren't dirty were ones with a big hole on the bum. Um, so I need to go there, get at least my shorts. Probably will just wear this shirt while training. And then I also need to do go uh, and, excuse me, I need to go to the garbage dump with uh, the uh, two vases, vases, vases that are here behind me and also the the green thing you can see here, um, a little fake plant. We're just, we were, we went to the Kuli uh, Hirvin. Um, like a place where, you know, a place that sells junk. Sort of like passed down, hand me down store. No, hand down, hands down store. No. Oh, I don't know, a place that sells junk, like that people has owned and they can um, put in, uh, give to the store or something and I think a lot of the profits go to charity. We went there yesterday and we bought a few artworks and stuff to put on the walls in our apartment. And yeah, we're sort of redecorating, re like making it more cozy and homey. So that's fun. That's a lot of fun. But yeah. <sighs> what to do? Oh, X, 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 X. What, what a strange car number. X, X. It's five X's. No, it's six X's. One, two. It's six. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, yeah. So what, what should we train? What should I train? I'm thinking about doing some light deadlifts. Um, just to keep, keep them in the program. I don't know what weight, but preferably for a set of 10 to 12 reps. I don't know if doing negatives on the deadlifts are very smart to do while I'm in this situation. I don't think so. I don't think so. So I'll just do regular deadlifts. Then I'll move on to some uh, cable pull pulleys, some cable pulls, uh, single single arm, isometrical, and then some biceps. I'll have to do some. I really like easy bar girls. Cook girls, <laughs> curls, um, and some. It's been a while since I did some hammer curls. Maybe I should do those. Do some good hammer, alternating hammer curls, or hammer curls with the football bar. Hmm. And then uh, will be a good another, another bicep exercise. I remember reading at some point, like a while ago, many, many years ago, the guys who do bicep curls on the cable, like while standing up, just doing this, basically flexing their arm back and forth, 
that they're probably more uh, growing their ego than their biceps because apparently it's not that great of a bicep exercise or something. I don't know. That's what it said. I don't know how much there in it, it, how much there is into that, but oh, yeah. maybe I'll do some like single arm bicep curls with a cable. Cable, single arm, bicep curls. That might be a lot of fun. Yeah, sure, let's do that. And uh, another exercise for backs. And well, of course, some pull downs. Maybe I'll just do some wide grip pull downs and then some close grip. Uh, no, single, single leg, single arm um, rows, dumbbell rows, single arm rumble, dumbbell rows. I like to do those. It's been a while since I did those. I used to do those all the time when I was younger. In the gym. Yeah. All right. I'm looking forward to it. I look like I, I just look so forward to training each time now. It's it's never a chore. It's so fun. And it's probably because like I'm not getting much hindrance due to my injuries, you know, because it's all light. It's like almost focused rehab work. But it's just a lot of fun. Uh, you know, Strowman is also fun, but when you're injured and you're, you're constantly like, you know, can't do what you want to do because of injuries, it sucks. It brings, it brings the, the fun out of it. No es divertido. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, I'll see you in the gym. Umotale la pensco. All right, in the gym. Got the deadlift set up. Just been thinking, you know, I did 120, easy. I just want to go to 160 for maybe 10 reps. Decided to put on the belt and stuff. So let's have some fun. Do 160 for 10 reps. Ish. Oh, that's so uncomfortable. Feels like the knurling's just extra rough for some reason. It's, oh, not used to not wearing the heat pants or a deadlift. Yeah, I'll try to make the next set a bit better. I feel like the last set, bless. I feel like the last set was very like crooked. I was pulling almost to one side. I need to focus on I feel having good balance in my form, so let's prioritize that. Good shit. Good rehab work. I can definitely tell. It feels like my left glute is weaker. So my right one is pulling 
you know, more. So I'm trying to stabilize it by trying to keep it a balance. Oh. One day at a time, guys. One day at a time. Oh. I feel like I'm still uh, recuperating cardiovascularly, <laughs> cardiovascularly from the last set. Deadlifts for 10 reps, they're, they're difficult. But let's go, third set and the last set. I can definitely tell that my left glute is working a lot harder than my right, but good stuff. Let's move into some lat one arm uh, pull to use. <laughs> I don't know. Fuck, it's taken me a good while to recuperate from, from this thing, from the deadlift spotter. Uh, yeah, let's go. I did this exercise last time. What do we call this? Lat, single arm, cable, standing, lat pull down. I don't know. Arms are still sweating and out of breath from the deadlifts. Jeez Louise. But uh, can I have my now, my intro workout, which is, so this is a shake. It has uh, carbs, carb X it's called. 10 grams of creatine, one scoop of EAAs, and one scoop of canteen, which is like a hydration powder with minerals and stuff. So, I'm gonna chug this to maximize my, my workout. All right, let's go. I think I should say the weight I have on here is 180 pounds, which is 81.8 kilograms. Going one stack heavier than last week, or the last time I did this. Well, yeah, last week. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> 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 
Yeah, we'll stop. Oh, let's go. And we'll do some boys. Okay. The last set, best set, and all that. I mean, that's what everybody says, don't they? some bias. Let's go. Second set. What's the word I'm looking for? Can't English today, what's going on? I get closer to failure with a higher weight. I mean, that just speaks for it, says itself. <laughs> uh, you don't have to be a genius to crack that one. You go easier to failure with more weight. <laughs> no, but I think, I think it's good. I think it's enough time under tension. <sighs> Last set. I'm done. Hmm. Should have moved when I went to some uh, single arm dumbbell rows. Maybe do it outside in the sun. Might be fun. I uh, decided to move out into the sun, get some tan while I'm at it. I mean, why not? And why not take my shirt off as well? Just to. Just to see how things look like. They, this is probably not a flattering angle for me with everything hanging down. <laughs> but you know, that's the name of the game why we're cutting. Because we want to look goddamn sexy. <laughs> All right, I got 90 pounds on here. Ooh. Uh, 
Oh, good shit. I think it's a good time to just see what I look like pumped up shirtless in the sun. I mean, is it too bad? Maybe progress for three weeks in, but not much weight has been lost, but maybe around three, three kilograms or so. Yeah, let's hit a few poses. Still have to do more reach research on this one, but it's like I think the one leg has to be a bit like this, and then we. <sighs> That's probably one of my favorites. It's just like the classic Arnold pose. Well, uh, let's take a look at the back. one that I'm missing. Oh yeah. That was also one of my favorites, like a classic one. <sighs> Need to find some rocky mountains to shoot in front of. <laughs> Okay, second set. Whoa. Good sip of water. <sighs> Hydration. <sighs> yeah. Then I think. Well, if we include the deadlifts, then this is the third back exercise. But I kind of want to do pull-ups as well. No, put not pull-ups, pull-downs. Do like at least two sets, two sets worth of pull-downs with a lot of negatives. And, and what was I talking about? Hammer curls and some single arm um, cable curls. Yeah, that'll be good. That'll be good. Okay, last set of the one-arm dumbbell rows. Ugh! <sighs> 
always in the the last sets it seems where it's just oh whoa, very hard to grind you know far into the failure dimension <laughs> it's just like it feels like the muscle just as soon as I start like grinding it just shuts down almost oh this is shut down but it's like I can't you know squeeze more you understand what I'm saying but okay let's uh, do more biceps okay I thought to myself why not also do the bicep curls out in the sun try to get some tan while I'm at it you know we only have these summer months well I guess like most countries but we, you know it, the sun doesn't come out until June late May and then uh, like leaves pretty early in September October and you know gets pretty cold very fast so you know you gotta use these days use the heat <laughs> That's good. That's nice. Doing some hammer curls. Two more. At least one more set. Maybe I'll just do one more. To do two sets of these, then two sets of some cable curls, and then two sets of. You know, I don't want to drag this out for too long. I've already been training for a while. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah. Whew. I think it's now pull downs, then biceps again. Then we're finished. My camera's battery is already flashing red. So we gotta get this stuff in. last guy in the gym on the Saturday it's getting close to uh, the evening oh yeah let's do some concentration curls here with the cable just like this I'm thinking Oh. 
think I may have to make it a tiny bit heavier. Just by one stack. I'm, I'm working with 50 pounds. That's nice. Oh. Oh. nice all right guys i think i'll just see you at home the camera's battery will not last enough for a car talk Whew. my word this is my third time trying to film this I filmed like a whole big, like three, four, five minute segment yesterday. And then it turns out the mic was on mute. <laughs> and now it's, all, it's already two days since the workout was. Like I rested yesterday, today I'm training again. So, <laughs> good training session, but it was certainly a wake up call due to the fact that I saw when I've already edited the video and everything, <clears throat> but I saw how fat I am around the waist and I was like oh my lord am I really that fat like uh, so I think this bodybuilding cut is definitely gonna be a good thing not just for aesthetics but also for just when coming back into strongman I'm gonna be I think it's gonna uh, allow my power to burst up really fast and really strong to new heights so that's exciting um, yeah so I think it's, yeah, just a great thing. And I was like, I noticed I was really fat around the waist, but I also noticed my shoulders are getting almost bigger than they were before, which is good. But that's strange that it's happening on a cut, but maybe I haven't been, <clears throat> I haven't been the most um, strict, you know, I follow my diet, but then in the office, if there's like the police, they're always having something. They're having waffles. I, I had a cup of waffles with some cream and, and jam and, and Nutella. Shouldn't have done that. And then the day after my birthday last week, you know, there was cake in the office. I still had some cake. Um, so I like I, last week I wasn't the strictest, I would say, but uh, this seeing the footage of myself posing outside of Thor's Power Gym was certainly a bit of a wake up call. Um, so, that's uh, that's a good thing. So I'm gonna be very strict with my diet going forward. I was very strict yesterday. Weighed myself this morning. I was 162.7, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's good. I'm just having my breakfast here. Um, this is cream of rice, protein, all bran, peanut butter, blueberries, and uh, dark chocolate. I'm gonna have some decaf coffee here editing this video and yeah but um so yeah good stuff very good stuff i'm gonna get this video out now and it's certainly overdue and uh one thing me and my girlfriend we keep doing we keep uh we're watching love island always in the evening so i have to use my computer 
to uh, airdrop or like um, screen mirror up to our Apple TV. So I can't edit in the evenings, but we're gonna change that. I think we're gonna start, start using the phones to airdrop the Love Island down to the TV. The, what's it called? Screen mirroring or something. Instead of using my computer so I can actually work. Um, because this keeps happening where I'm, I film a, you know, a work a video and then I, I don't publish it until like two, three, four days later. And uh, I really want to get more consistent with that, you know, because I always usually just have the weekends as a time off <clears throat> so that I can edit and everything. But I could use the evenings while, while we're watching Love Island to try and edit. Cool. So yeah, no more using my laptop for Love Island. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> yeah, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you're getting closer to your goals. Whatever they might be, I wish you the best of luck. And uh, yeah, have a great time. Today is the 17th of June. It's our national holiday. So I think we're gonna go downtown, maybe walk a little bit, celebrate that we got our independence from the damn Danes. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Oh, live long and prosper. Ooh.